everybody. Me. Me. Hey, butthead. We gotta watch this YouTube video. Me. Me. Uh. Why? Me. It's really cool. Me. Uh. So. Me. It's this Pokemon battle. Me. Me. By the sky, venomous blow. Me. We should watch it and rate it and give a thumbs up and subscribe and stuff. Me. Uh, uh, okay. So yeah, that was my Beavis and Butthead impression. I hope you guys like that because I kind of worked hard on those impressions, but oh well. Anyways, this is a battle against Beyonce Nose. So yeah, I don't, I'm not really a fan of Beyonce, but apparently this guy is, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's go ahead into the team preview here. As you can see, I have a rather odd team. It looks it's comprised of a bunch of slow Pokemon. Like really molasses slow. So any idea what this means? I'll tell you. It's a trick room team! Oh snap! So yeah, I have a trick room team here. And he's got a rain team, as you can see. Pretty off, pretty standard stuff for a rain team. You got Thunderous Teeth, Scizor, Ferrothorn, Jirachi, and Mamoswine. Mamoswine's a bit odd, but it's not unusual for a rain team, so... Yeah. That's that. Now, the biggest threat... I'm not sure what the biggest threat is. It's, I'm probably going to say it's Ferrothorn, because... Ferrothorn can outspeed my Pokemon in Trick Room and probably take them out, so I'm probably going to have to get rid of Ferrothorn as quick as I can. There's also the omnipresent threat of having my Trick Roomers removed early, which will pretty much cripple my entire team. The Trick Roomers in this case are Porygon 2, uh, Rayunicus, and Dusknoir. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Let's start the battle, shall we? So I'm gonna lead off with my Goober, just to goob some things up, you know. And he switches, and he leads off with his Jirachi. Now, first thing he's gonna do is set up a substitute, which is kind of scaring me because um, I'm gonna need to break that sub in order to attack Jirachi. So I go for the Trick Room, so that my sweepers can sweep, and then I whip out my Boner. Now, my Boner has an attack that will break his sub and hit Jirachi at the same time. So it's like a two-strike attack. It's called Bone Meringue. And it basically has the same base power as Earthquake, it just hits like, um, it just splits the um, base power into 50 per attack. So he goes for Flash Cannon after getting the Calm Mind Boost, and I'm like, dude, why did you go for Flash Cannon? You could have killed me with Water Pulse. So yeah, he switches out of there and goes into Ferrothorn as I try to Fire Punch him, which works out pretty well for me. So my Boner gets hurt by those Iron Barbs, and I'm like, ow! I stuck my boner in a fucking steel cactus thing. So he brings out Mamoswine and goes for the ice shard on my boner, and I'm like, shrinkage! And um, boner goes down. So that's my heavy hitter's loss, so that kind of sucks. I bring in Goober again to take whatever hit this Mamoswine's got, and he goes for the earthquake. I set up the trick room. And he switches out of there and goes into Politoed. I try to go for the Ice Beam on Mamoswine, but it doesn't really work out because Politoed's ridiculously high special defense tanked the hit easily. Now he switches out again and goes into Mamoswine as I try to T-Bolt Politoed, and I'm like, dude, stop switching. Pick a Pokemon and stick with it, you pussy. So now I switch out of there and go into Rayuniclus, trying to hit it with a Focus Blast. He goes for Earthquake, but he switches out of there and goes into Scizor. Focus Blast is not going to do that much at all, and that really stinks. So now I'm just sitting here stupid. He goes for the Swords Dance on the next turn, and I'm like, oh crap, he's going to bullet punch me into death. So I set up that Trick Room, and he does exactly that. He bullet punches me to death. So yeah, now he's got a priority attack, which is really, which really sucks. So now I need to bring up Tux to tank that bullet hit. 
bullet punch, excuse me. And he switches out the Politoed. Now, Specs Hydro Pump in the rain is going to do significant damage to this Politoed, even with Politoed's special bulk. So, yeah. Hydro Pump misses on the next turn, and I'm like, dude, Poly Politoed should be dead by now, Empoleon. You need to, like, fucking step up your game. So I go for the Hydro Pump next turn, and that takes care of Politoed, so yeah. His Weather Inducer is out of the game, but it doesn't really matter since I don't have a Weather Inducer. He brings in Thunderous T. I switch out to Goober. Now, here's where something funny happens. I didn't know that Goober's Trace would Trace Volt Absorb. So, um, yeah. It traced his Volt Absorb, hit Thunder and got his health back, so I didn't even anticipate that at all. He switches out to Mammoth Swine as I switch out to S Cavalier. Earthquake lands a crit on S Cavalier and I die, so bye bye Fruit Stripe. That really sucks. Especially since S Cavalier was one of my most powerful guys. So I bring out Empoleon again and he switches out to Jirachi. I go for Hydro Pump. It misses again and I'm like, Empoleon, come on dude. Can you not see within two feet of your face? Jeez. So now Jirachi's gone and Scizor comes out. And Scizor bullet punches me. That does like nothing. Because water and steel both resist bullet punch. So I go for the hydro pump and take him out. So now all he has left is Mammoth Swine and Thunderous T. So yeah, I switch out of there. Go into Goober. To tank the Earthquake. Of course, it's not really going to do that much good since Goober's going to die to the next one. And yeah, so Goober's out of the game. The only Trick Rumor left now is Dusk Noir. So that's what I'm going to switch into. And stuff. So he goes for Earthquake. I set up that Trick Room. And I go for Earthquake on the next turn. That takes care of Mammoth Swine. And he brings out Thunderous T. Now, here's where I do something incredibly stupid. I go for the substitute here. I should have just let him kill me and get a free switch into Empoleon, but that's not how it works. So, yeah. I set up, try to set up a Focus Punch. He hits me with Thunder. And that is going to take out my Dust Noir. Alright, so now here is where the game is going to be decisive. If I can hit Thunderous T with Hydro Pump, I will win. But if Hydro Pump misses for a third fucking time, I will lose. So, let's see who wins out. My Hydro Pump or Thunderous T's Thunder? Let's see. Dun 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 Okay, so Thunderous T lost to my Hydro Pump. That is the end of the game, and I win. So good job, Beyonce Knows. I'll see you all next time, guys.